and Janelle. This is to DIY for, and this is slightly terrifying, but also very exciting. I bought some power tools. <laughs> so I don't want anyone who comes to my channel for simple DIYs, you know, dollar store, thrift store DIYs to be scared. My channel is not going to transform into some sort of power tool DIY only. Uh, I'm a beginner, so they're going to be simple power tool DIYs and kind of learn with me, but I'm definitely still going to be doing all of the other DIYs that you can, you can expect on my channel. So I'd also love to know which you'd prefer to be on my channel. You can leave that down in the comments below and I will heavily weight it one way or the other. But you know, I've used them a couple of times for DIYs and that's been thanks to my dad. So he's always helped me and that's why it's a little scary because my parents live about 15 hours away from me and I no longer have access to his tools or his skill set. But I'm attempting to do this on my own, slowly but surely going to learn, take you along with the ride and uh, going to be fun. It is. So uh, I've been putting this off for way too long because I'm cheap and I finally found a deal so I bought myself a few things and I'm also moving and I have some big ideas for this new place that I'm going to be moving into. It's much larger, there's indoor and outdoor DIYs that I'm excited to do for this summer and I needed power tools to do some of them. So I bought them. Also with the fact that I am moving, it's still going to be a rental property but I'm wondering if you would like to see the kind of transformation process. It's a little bit whoa right now with the color of paint that's on the walls and, and just kind of the, the status of the apartment, but I have been given approval to paint it and I'm excited to kind of transform the space and do my own thing with it. So if you wanna see that process, let me know. Please comment below and I will do it. I've been toying around with the idea of possibly doing it as a video. I don't normally do things like this on my channel, but if you're interested in seeing that, Leave that down below. I'm moving in about a week or two, so I kind of need to know ASAP. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get into this week's DIY with something amazing that I found in my basement. And I may or may not have stole it. Okay, quick backstory. There are new owners to the house that I live in. They've required all of the tenants to leave and I'm the only one left in the building. And the basement's full of a bunch of junk, but I found this in the basement. Now you can do this project with, by just simply getting a piece of mirror cut or maybe taking an old mirror and taking the frame off and, re and doing this with it. So the idea here is to sandwich it in between these two pieces of pine that I picked up. And I also grabbed that nice little thin piece of wood from uh, the section where you'll find like crown mold molding in a hardware store. So the idea here is that the thin wood will go around the exterior of this board and it will help make this look like it's one solid piece of wood. You'll get the idea a little bit better when I show you the next phase, but uh, once I cut all of those pieces of wood, uh, it's going to vary for your projects, so that's why I didn't give you any sizes, but this one piece here is for the mirror to rest on inside of my wood slab. So I went just a couple of inches down make it a little sturdy but also to give this some height because the mirror wasn't quite tall enough to be a stand-up mirror the rest of the pieces go around the exterior of this board so that when you put the top piece on it is going to look as though it's like one big solid piece of wood that's just been cut out in the center for the mirror at least that's the idea so I first just drilled this uh, or drilled a couple of pilot holes and some screws into that latch there to hold the mirror that's on the back piece this is the front piece so I'm using some wood glue and just gluing in all of those little pieces again around the exterior of this. I clamped them into place for a couple of hours and allowed that to dry before moving on to the next step. And then again using some more wood glue with this, I am then putting the back piece onto the front here. Make sure that latch is on the inside for the mirror to rest on. Uh, again drilling some pilot holes just so I don't crack the wood and then just screwing that into place and again this is the back of my board because I don't want that to be seen. So once this is all done I just went down and I sanded it and made it nice and smooth got all the rough edges off. Once you're done that make sure you wipe it off with a damp cloth get rid of any of that dust before you start to do your staining. Now this is the color that I used and this is a new product uh, it is an oil modified polyurethane water-based uh, top coat at least a new product to me 
and I quite liked using it. And uh, yeah, if you've never stained before, a couple of tips, just make sure that your wood is nice and clean, no dust, not wet either, and you're, you, you're, you're putting it in with the grain. So just follow the directions. Uh, I left it on for about five minutes and wipe it off with a cloth when you're done. Now I had already put on one coat of that polyurethane, I just didn't get it on camera. So in between coats, you are supposed to sand it down with a very, very fine sandpaper. And then I'm just wiping it off with a little bit of a damp cloth, allow that to dry, and then going back with another coat. Two to three coats was requested or suggested on the can, and I did two coats and you just let it dry. And I love the way that it turned out. And I actually really liked working with that product as well. can see I was clearly pumped when I found that piece of mirror in the basement. Finders keepers I figure. No one was using it and it was in really good condition. So uh, it was bigger better than the one that I had. Mirrors are expensive so I thought that I would give it a base pretty simply and I really like the way that it turned out. So I'd love for you to let me know what you thought of that idea and how I kind of uh, use that piece. Give the video a like if you enjoyed this DIY and don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next Wednesday with a new DIY for you. Also, if you try this one or any of my other DIYs, I want to see what you're making at home. So send me some uh, pictures of that. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper and tag me in those photos so I can check them out. Uh, I know it's kind of strange to just find a random piece of mirror around. You can definitely buy that or if you have maybe a big mirror at home already but you think it's kind of ugly, take off the frame and you can uh, apply the same technique to that mirror that you have there. Anyways, we'll talk to you next week. Cheers!